Recently, I made a video reviewing the Flextail Gear Tiny Pump 2X. And one of the things I demonstrated using this pump on was this pillow, also from Flextail Gear. And what I said I would do is do a separate quick review of this pillow. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we get started, I want to thank Flextail Gear for sending this pillow so that I could share it with you. Of course, they did also send me the Tiny Pump 2X, and I previously reviewed that. I'll link a review to that if you would like at the end of this video. So pillow is very simple. It's just a inflatable type of pillow and it comes in this nice little stuff sack. I will give you the dimensions and weight once it is inflated, but let me take it out of the bag, put the bag aside, the little stuff sack, roll it out and we'll show a few of the features. So right off of the top is the material itself that it's made of. Um, this is a nice soft material. It's really nice for having your face lay against. I have a, a few other pillows that are a nylon uh, shell on the outside and while functional it's not especially comfortable to be honest and they do uh, they are quite noisy as well. So what I tend to do is put them either inside of a t-shirt or put a couple of things over top of them when I'm using that. Not necessary with this one. The material is actually quite luxurious. It has a little bit of uh, I don't know, some type of a liner on the inside to give it just a little bit more padding and a little bit more comfort. And uh, you'll see just how comfortable it is once I have this fully inflated. So the features of this, in, in addition to that material, it does have a double valve on this end. So you open the top one up to inflate. And then when you go to deflate, it's just a matter of opening the bottom one up and the air just rushes right out of them. I'll demonstrate those in a minute. The back side of the pillow. So the design of this pillow is that it is a bladder, an air bladder, inside of this outer covering. And to access the air bladder, if you wanted to, you can just pull it open. And there's a heavy weight, uh, kind of a vinyl and plastic on the inside here. And it's not attached to the pillow directly, except at this point right here where the valve is. So it kind of rides inside free. Uh, you know, it's functional. The other thing I think is quite nice on this is this retention strap. So it does connect to the pillow with dome snaps on both sides. It has quite a bit of a uh, shock cord to it, so it'll stretch and around most air mattresses and hold it in place, as I'll demonstrate in a few minutes time. All right, inflation is really very simple. I'm gonna open up the top valve. It'll take just two seconds with the tiny pump to blow this up. And that's it, fully inflated. Now, you can see that this is a contoured pillow, not unlike a lot of pillows that people purchase for home use in, with that double contour, contour. So it is more anatomically correct, or supposed, supposed to be, just smaller. Now, I will tell you, I filled this one up full of air just now. And when I have used this, and I did use this camping for two weeks with my wife, or actually one week this year, camping uh, just recently, and I used this as my primary pillow. It worked out very well. But one of the things I discovered is, this is not, it didn't work for me to have it this fall. So I just let a little tiny bit of air out. I did have to put something else underneath just to give me a little bit more uh, height uh, under my neck, but it was just fine. But the anatomical design of this actually is, makes it quite comfortable. I quite liked it. A little bit bigger than a, lo a lot of the other pillows, both in this dimension and in this dimension. Let me just take the camera back a tiny bit so you can see this and I'll give you those dimensions. So first off the weight. Very light, 5.3 ounces or 150 grams. The dimensions are 17 inches in this direction, 12 inches in this direction, and it says 1.6 inches in this direction. Uh, that's at least two inches. That's more like three inches right here. I think if it's 1.6 inches, it's right here. I just uh, didn't measure it because it's a little challenging with the shape of the pillow, but it's got to be three inches or very close to it at this top portion. So I will put uh, these measurements and the weight, of course, in the video description if you're interested in seeing that again. So as I mentioned, it uh, operates through this valve here. So let me open up the double valve and show you how quickly it deflates. Done, all right, so that's just it. So fold it over once, fold it over twice, press the air out, roll it up, and close the valve. And then I just have to stuff it back in the stuff sack.
I almost forgot to demonstrate how you would attach this to your uh, head end of your mattress. So this is my Sea to Summit air mattress that I have. And what I'll do is you can do it one of two ways. I guess I could unsnap the strap on the back and reach it around, but I should also be able to just pull it down over the end of my air mattress like that. You know, you're gonna to have to adjust to find exactly where it is you want it on your air mattress. But somewhere right around there works for me on this one. This is not the one I took camping with me. This would be my backpacking mattress, but I had another air mattress again, but it still fit around that. So that's nice and firmly in place. So that kind of eliminates the problem that we've all experienced where you're chasing your air mattress after it slides off the slippery material uh, during the nighttime, unless you have some way of attaching it to or keeping it from sliding off the end. This really just eliminates it. It's not going anywhere. All right, now we can close the video out. All right, that was just a quick review of the Flextail Gear Zero pillow. A really comfortable pillow, maybe a little larger than some of the other pillows, but well worth it in terms of the comfort that it uh, provides. All right, if you have any questions or comments regarding this pillow, then please put them in the comments section below. I will provide the links to where you can purchase this pillow as well as the, the information in terms of specifications for it in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.